Hello and welcome to part 2 of my gangway tutorial. So last part I covered how to rent, uh, rig the cube using just a basic cube and how to um, render it from the server. So right off the bat there's already a couple issues. First off, no one wants to use a cube um, and some people have a custom mesh they want to rig. Um, and second, you shouldn't be rendering from the server. Or, yeah, you shouldn't be rendering from the server because in case the server lags, your mesh will also lag. Um, and it will cause like ping issues. I don't know. Uh, it's just render it from the client, it will lag less. Um, second issue is uh, let me import the file. Uh, downloads, if I can find it, this one. Uh, one of my viewers have been encountering this uh, if I move this closer to the uh, origin you can see um, if I go into pose mode and I rotate no I don't know but blender has four bones I don't know uh, if I rotate this it rotates the whole mesh with it so I will show you how to fix this really quickly um, the problem with this is let me get rid of these two bones they are unnecessary go into edit mode uh, for, so first off a lot of you guys you have to add the bone like directly in the middle of it okay uh, and they cannot be past the mesh since it the weights are I don't know it's just how it works hard to explain uh, so to fix the weights because the weights are all messed up you go to weight paint and you can already see it's messed up uh, you want to draw and make the weight zero if the weight if the mesh is ready all blue when you turn on weight paint um, you don't have to do anything. Just skip this part where I'm painting it all uh, blue. Let me make the radius bigger. Paint all of this. Um, okay. Make sure you paint all of it. Okay, it's all painted. I will now add the gradient. Select gradients and select the weight to one. Oh yeah, when you're drawing, make sure you select the weight to zero, so it can color it all blue. Um, now select the weight or se select gradient and make the weight one. So after you've done that, like hover over one side of your mesh uh, and then drag it over to the other side of your mesh now the the weight is fixed we can go into object mode and then click pose and then you can see the mesh is fixed uh, you can rotate it however you want and yeah it's fixed uh, if you guys are encountering any more of these errors just let me know in the discord uh, I won't re I won't be releasing any more of these videos because uh, I don't want to make more of these so if you really need help just join the discord because I won't be releasing any more videos talking about this uh, gangway uh, if I go back uh, so yeah it's fixed I'll just export it for my fellow viewer with fixed bones okay so part two or like the second error people are encountering uh, their second issue really 
is that this is being run from the client or from the server. So this is an easy fix to it. You just want to change the run context to client. Uh, but since you, you have to add wait, wait for child since client does things differently than server. Uh, you can get rid of the all of these uh, values and you can just reference them from here. So make sure you use wait for child. So script dot parent dot gangway dot or wait for child gangway wait for child gangway dot bone bone and you can do the same but for bone zero zero one uh same thing same thing for this do script uh dot parent wait for child left i think uh get rid of dot value um then select attachment zero zero uh and i do the same thing for this script dot parent wait for child right dot attachment one Uh, so after you've done that, it should fix on the client. Yep. So if I select the left and I move it here, it mesh deforms. But if I go into the server, it does not render. Which is good because it helps not create more lag. Whatever. This, I've just been told to do this. Please help me. Uh, so yeah, it works. Um, if you have any more issues, contact uh, my Discord server and I'll be happy to help you. So thanks for watching and goodbye.